So you started the online stuff early then, doing the merch and... and early, yeah, this is... I think it's 12 years ago since... It's got to be longer when you started it. 15, when I... 13, oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I spent eight years developing an app. Mm. Okay. And I had a team out in the Philippines and I had a money man involved and whatever else. Mm. And in, in a depth, it done all right. And then it just... market's too slow. So you would have been one of the first ones to start an online store? In online, it's, it's just another beast. It's at your hands, isn't it? It's another beast, man. You can sit there and do... Because it doesn't feel like real money, spin. does it? No. If you, if it you ain't, it online, is it all the time it's on your phone? I used to, I used to yeah. play it online. And do you know what? Because I used to play do football bets. Uh -huh. But what would happen? I'd play like... Um, I'm not a massive gambler, but uh -huh. even if you start at like 50, bit. 60 quid a week, that's still 50, 60 quid yeah. a week. What you don't need Adds to up. do. Do Adds you know up, what I mean? It? Yeah. And like, but, but what then is. You get addicted you to can, it, didn't you? That. You, Adds can, up. You, can, you can cash out, can't you? Yeah, and then you can yeah. put back on. It's mm. all at your fingertips. Yeah. That, do you know what I mean? And that's where you were. You can have a bet that goes wrong. And then you can still bet in play. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have another go at that. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. evil. It's, it's, it's evil. It's evil. It chases yeah. you. But, um, yeah, I think a burning question. Go on, uh, we went so up. deep that he's forgot about so that. So deep, yeah. he's lost his train of thought. A lot of people want to know when you went bald. <laughs> Me? <laughs> a, lo a lot of people... I mean, you're the bald you builders, aren't you? Right. Welcome to today's episode of Off The Job. And our uh, special guest today, we have... Brad and we have Sam, also known as the Bald Builders. He's so cheeky with the camera, isn't he? Yeah. He's yeah. eyeballing yeah. that camera, yeah. bang yeah. on, isn't he? If I like, they can yeah. make my teeth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? How are you? Are you good? Yes, yes, absolutely magnificent that you've come in. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for coming on. You're it's very welcome. A pleasure. It's a pleasure as always. So, uh, have you, you just come from the radio, have you? Just come from the radio. Yeah, we come straight here, actually. Mm. We're supposed to go and do a little leak. Yeah, we was, uh, we, well, was well, 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 well. we was on radio today and we got a work <laughs> phone now because we started the maintenance and it rang while we was in the middle yeah. of a link on radio and it was a call out and we um, had to go and send someone else there so we can come in. We had to send the real plumber, Pete. What, what, what was it? A what push fit it? job for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were using 15 yeah. mil push fit guns. It was copper, it was, not, it was soldering, now it's push fit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We've done one a little while ago, I just cut it out and just pushed it together. Yeah. yeah. Did you do radio every morning? Monday to Friday, 6 till 9. Yeah. So you're the professionals here then, like not us, you've got to teach us something. Oh, this is your bag. This mate. is you, man. We're in your we're, domain. We're, we've come to your area. Oh, thank you. I appreciate That's it. That's all right. We've got a nosebleed coming down here. Hopefully, the podcast better than your comedy. <laughs> 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 he had to get that in, didn't he? Yeah. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do It is better than the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But um, yeah, so you've been around for a few years now, haven't you? Yeah, been going a long time, doing about socials about 10 years. Ish. Yeah, and that might be longer. Yeah, so probably that. Yeah, you like we've just mentioned that, and we that people don't believe that we actually really are plumbers or builders. Do the work. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, have you always been builders since you left school? Or what, mm. what Me, I am. I'm 13. I'm 13 year old. Left school at 13. And I went sca uh, roofing, then went scaffolding, and then went back down my plaster apprenticeship when I was 15, mm. and then self employed when I was 17, and then just learnt the art of. <laughs> Construction, yeah, yeah, extensions, yeah. loft conversions, yeah, and yeah. whatever else in between. So, oh, yeah. yeah. And what was uh, you? What, like T boy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still T boy? He's still yeah, T boy. Still boy enough. <laughs> I've done a two year Sparky apprenticeship. I did, ya? Yeah, and then gave, I never I done, gave that. up Sparky. And then give yeah, up yeah, Sparky no. first. Was you? No, they, you? They, run out, yeah, they run out of work, so I had to stop. And then you were a plumber. <laughs> so then I went to change company and worked for a plumber. Yeah. There's a, he's the only second person I know who's a Sparky. I knew one fella and he was qualified Sparky and plumber, a gas yeah. engineer. Yeah, I weren't qualified Sparky. Okay. <laughs> I didn't You're finish the apprenticeship. Big dodo, oh, bro. Don't yeah. think up too good. You're so only a big dodo if you're doing both of them. Yeah. Yeah, but it comes in hand, doesn't it? Doing plumbing and yeah. electrics. Yeah. Well, we, we touch electrics anyway. When you come at controls and all that, we're touching electrics anyway. So all right, come now, Pete. It's all free, mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> wait, listen, wait. I know more about electrics than you and your qualified spark. <laughs> every right. time, every you know? time we do a job right, it don't matter if he's changing the plug on at all, he puts his belt on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does. That's <laughs> bad. <laughs> 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 I never said you do as well. Yeah. Go get the bag out. Yeah, 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 <laughs> get the tool bag. Yeah. Go yeah. get the tool bag out. But, but do, do you still do a little bit of electric? Then? Nah, nah, nah. Don't touch that. We man. get the sparks. Get electrocuted, in. man. <laughs> it's not good, bro. Mm -mm. I've been electrocuted. Sometimes it's not times. worth doing so a trade that you stick to what you know. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? It's yeah. not nice yeah. taking the belt, is it? Nah. 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 I've, I've, I've had a couple of belts in my life. <laughs> But not just off electrics. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about your set <laughs> career now. Yeah. Pubs. Yeah, you know, pubs yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 What did you go into after the Sparky then? Uh, I just started doing sales, selling. Mm. Um, That's a trolley that is going past. There's no, a trolley. No. Every 
every time. Yeah, that's the male lady. <laughs> That's lunch lady Doris. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like our phone call on air today. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. You just so. got to, you got to um, bring the elephant in the room up, didn't you, mm. at that point? Yeah. 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 I was like, Sam, is that your phone ringing? He went, yeah. yeah, he said, we've got a job in and we're on air doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, we'll answer it in a minute. Carry on. <laughs> then we just carried on doing our link this <laughs> to morning. Do what you got to do. Uh, yeah, and then I started doing sales, basically. Mm. Um, then met Brad. And then Brad had an online builder's merchants at the time. Mm. So then I started helping him do sales and then... Brad started doing videos on site, and then we just sort of turn it on. So you started there. the online stuff early, then tr- doing the merchant and early. Yeah, this is I think it's twelve year ago. Since it's got to be longer when you started it. 15, when I was, 30, oh yeah, I, I yeah I spent eight years developing an app, mm. okay. and I had a team out in the Philippines, and I had a money man involved and whatever else, mm. and in in the depth it, it done all right, and then it just market's too slow. So you would have been one of the first ones to start an online store. We were 100% probably one of the first ones online yeah. builders, merchants type store. So it was the Amazon for the building industry. Mm. Mm. So we had about a million products on there and we connect the consumer with the merchant yeah. and take our little slice out the middle. And we're, on average, we'd save the customer 30% if they bulk ordered with us. Yeah. And then we get split delivery. Yeah. So you'd have delivery for your bricks, blocks and sand, mm. delivery for your electrical, or delivery for your plumbing. So you have multiple merchants delivering to that one site. Okay, so you what you partnered up with other merchants? We we had yeah. them on as mer- we called them merchants, mm. and then they logged into our system. They created themselves a, a, a daddy account, if you like, and then they had multiple merchants underneath them, mm. all controlled by one central fee. But the industry so far mm. backward then we weren't getting live data feeds, so the pricing structure was out. Yeah, yeah. It's so slow. Man. It was hard, and then we were saying, right, update your data feed, and then they come along, update it a week later, and. They'd, out of date again mm-hmm. so that's where that was the struggle we had at that point point. and how long was that running for we we developed the system took us eight years trial and error mm-hmm. spent 200 yeah. grand on google adwords mm-hmm. one year a lot of money mm-hmm. yeah we burnt cash we burnt about two million quid developing this with a money man mm-hmm. in the depth of it pulled the plug on it we traded mm-hmm. it for one year turned over a million quid yeah we were smashing out turner stuart turner pumps that was the product like, good pumps mm-hmm. stuart turner out. shower pumps and we hit it right for google adwords mm-hmm. and we were spending a lot of money so our return on our investment weren't yeah. great because we were spending a lot of adwords mm-hmm. but we turned over a million quid just on doing 95 percent of it with stuart turner shower pumps, yeah wasn't it? or me crazy. Right builders like right? would you um was you solely focused on that then, or was you doing on the tools as well or at that point you took a wage from that at that point, we was on that. You was in my garage. I was in the garage. Placing orders. Laptop. And then I, I was on site, back building. So I developed the mm. system for a period, for mm. about the eight years, come off the tools, and then I went back on the tools. And that's when we first started social media. Yeah. Mm. And that was at the same time as on the tools starting. Mm. So we started at the same time. There weren't no other trade people doing socials, no. yeah. vlogging their days. And we just started doing sketch videos around plumbers, electricians. Yeah, yeah. And we just take the mick out of certain I people. I remember them. Yeah. That I was the day. The one, the, one, the one first one I said about was the chicken sandwich one. That's the one I think I first see you do. That was one the KFC in the car park. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> <You> swapped, <laughs> the swapped it. <laughs> swapped it. They took it back. <laughs> What's that? You not see that one? <laughs> oh, God. This is after we come back. So we had a break <laughs> for about a year and a half of socials. Yeah, yeah. And we had about 40,000 followers at the time. And because we lost the business and it went down and we lost everything, bottomed out, literally. Yeah, yeah. Mother-in-law's back garden, caravan, four kids, 800 quid to mm, our name. Yeah. Yeah. You would have learned a lot from all that, though. Learned so yeah. much, bro. Mm. And then it took us a year and a half to get our confidence back and our egos back. Yeah, we had to get our egos back in track because yeah. we got a little bit leery. We had yeah. 40,000 followers when I, I only had one mate before that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. like 40,000 followers yeah. is a lot of people when no one else is doing it. Yeah. yeah. Every All the eyeballs were getting millions of views a month at that point. Mm. And it was crazy. So oh, she'd done the social off. media then come away from it. For come away from it for a year and a half. Yeah. Suspended the page, took it offline, but kept it. And we Just literally had a year off. off, a year and a half off. Yeah. What made you take that break? The wife, egos, mm. me and him, he got Larry, I got Larry. The wife said, listen, before you lose your marriage, you better liven up a bit. Step back, yeah. Step back a little bit, you're getting a bit cocky, getting a bit Larry, thinking That's you're a bit... Good that you can recognise. 100%, yeah. 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 I own yeah. the fact, yeah. yeah. And it, yeah. it was just Larryness. It was just thinking we was the daddies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we were signing signatures. <laughs> we had postcards, mm. DL-sized postcards with our faces printed on them. We had a van mm. with our full body 
Face on the side of our van myself. driving around town thinking we was the geezers. <laughs> I know something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but we was them guys, right? And now I look at the industry now and there's every every social media tradesperson is that guy. Yeah. yeah. And 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 I've I've called it on a few of them and a few of them have flopped because of it. And I because I can be I've been there. Yeah. Mm. I've been there and I can see exactly which route they're going. They think there's something special because they're getting themselves some views right now. Yeah. Right. That will die at some point. You've got to be always, smart about it, you? got to be smart. Yeah. And there's always someone bigger and better. There's always someone better looking. There's always oh, someone yeah. better at your job. So, and, and this is the problem. that The industry we've got now is, is quite egotistical. Mm -hmm. So you've got to take yourself out of that somehow. And we learned the hard way. And we learned yeah. early on. And, yeah. and we, we got humbled by losing it. I was a millionaire. Bomb. Mm. Bottom out in the caravan. Yeah. That's humbling. Yeah. That is humbling right there. We had eight on a quid. <laughs> and I sent him down the road. We'd done this on radio the other day, but I sent him down the road to buy a van because we bottomed out, we had nothing. We had no van, no tools. I bought a Range Rover the year before, Yeah, 25 grand. I sold it to Wee by any car for 12 grand. Mm. 18 months later, I managed to buy a caravan to live in in the mother-in-law's back garden. I run around for the wife and 800 quid for us to buy a van. <laughs> That's all we had. I teed up this fella with a full Connect van, sent him to go and collect it with one of his mates and he comes back with a black jag. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. And we had one job on, so we have nothing to our name. We got one client that we're doing work for, and they're man. right well to do. The geezer's up the city, he's working up the city, she's a kept woman. We priced her as a 60 gram loft conversion bathroom, white marble. Damn and us Herberts are turned up in this motor. <laughs> Jag though, Jag. It weren't just a motor. Like, Jag. She, she thought she thought Inspector Morse. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Unbelievable. <laughs> and I don't know how we got through it, yeah. but it was during the winter, and this is when we had a year and a half off. We had Ansor. We had a leaking Makita impact driver. It leaked dead. every time you used it. It was dead. It was burnt out. Burnt, done. Set square. Whatever else. And we we took this little dormer down and we extended it. Mm. Done it all by hand. Cut roof. Mm. Tiled it, come out a tree. Yeah, marble. He was up come there. out a tree, recommended us to one more person. We've done that job and all of a sudden we're back. Yeah. We earned ourselves a little cut of quid out of that mm. next job, invested it into uh, Flow Screed, mm. and we set up Flow Screed, and all of a sudden it just started to happen a little bit again. And, and that's then, when we come back with the chicken yeah. shop. That's yeah. when we turn the page back on. We yeah. turned the page back on, and our first ever video was me walking back to you in the van with Getting a pint milk. of milk. He said, Where you been? I said, I went to get a pint of milk. He said, That's a long old walk. We have to Year sell and a jack though and get a transit van. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we did that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a full circle moment now. And then we come back and the wife just said, keep an eye on it. Let's did keep... you plan like when you s stepped away that you're going to go back into it? No, you weren't, no. You weren't gonna... no, it was just a gut feeling not to delete the page. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It was 30, 38,000 followers or something like that. It was just a gut feeling just to spend it. Yeah. When you suspended it, did it lose a following uh, after that suspension? You, of a year we kept or? the numbers there, but your engagement... It yeah. was flat. You flat, basically yeah. just hide it so no one even knew you were right. Right. there. Gotcha. It was just flat. So when you turn it back on, everything old was still there. Right. So you it looked populated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then what we had to do, we had to think about some bangers to come back with. Mm -hmm. But at the time, before that, it was all about on-site work. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we were taking the mic out of plumbers, electricity, and whatever else. Mm -hmm. This time round, it was about the family, about our relationship. Yeah, no, yeah. I was going to say that. And it changed. Yeah, 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 it changed completely at that point, wasn't it? And it, it was, was all about more, me and you together. Yeah, it was about more vlogging because we had, we had gone from doing building work to taking on flow screed work. So then we was basically promoting the flow screed for us to go and do flow screed for builders. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we was just vlogging a day and vlogging the jobs. But because we was doing flow screed, it allowed us more time to do videos. So mm. we was double working. So we was working with the flow screed. Mm. But then after we was also filming as well. So you're filming like mm. a whole day until like eight, nine o'clock at night. Um, and then just consistency. Well, that was it. That was the choice, day. wasn't it? Because when we was building that last job, the one we said we earned a couple of quid out of, I think we had about four grand profit, mm. saying, something like that, and it's a long yeah. old job. We, yeah. had a, we had a real basic wage, <clears throat> and we saved up the money, and we had these flow screeners come in to do the job for us, mm. and they took some money off, lumpy money off us, and they was gone by 12. Yeah, I'm yeah. a plasterer by trade, so <laughs> screed, anything wet, mucky-wise, mm. that's my bag. So we stood back for the whole day. Like up, They got there early on, about 6 in the morning, I was at about 12, 1 yeah. o'clock. I watched them how they did it. I watched the prep. I watched mm. everything about it. He rang up the merchant, what delivered the material to him, just to suss out how much they pay a cubic meter on that, mate. Or how much is it a cubic meter? Oh, it's 160 quid, whatever. Done our mass. And I thought, fucking hell, Sam. Yeah. They've had three bags off us. Yeah. They've had three bags yeah. off us and they've done an half day. I said, we're going to use the money out of this job to set up Frank's flow screen. Frank's got my boy's called Frank. Yeah. 
So we, we, we did. We bought mm. the transit. We signed it. We bought all of the tripods. Done the training course. Done the training course for it properly because you can't buy the material without doing the training mm. course. Yeah, yeah. Turn the page back on. I said, now we've got a reason to turn the page on. So we've got yeah. something to promote. Yeah. 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 And that's what we did. So we turned the page on. Van, Frank Slow Screed. Right, builders, we're back. Yeah. When your flow screen done, we travel the country yeah. because we figured out that we can work three days a week on flow screen and allow us four days a week to do social media. Mm. And at some point in time, it's gonna, there's going to be a transition period where social pays us. Yeah. Mm. And we didn't earn nothing for two years. Yeah, mm. solid. Not right. a penny. Solid as well. Not a dime out of social takes media. Takes a lot of work than it's social yeah. media. No one realizes yeah. that. And, and this, don't forget, no one's still doing it at this point in time. Mm. So mm. we're grafting, we're grafting, we're thinking, right, how can we get people's attention? So we did Because you have KFC no one hat. else to look at. Not that you want to copy nothing, anyone no, else. Nothing no, from no, inspiration, no, yeah, yeah. no inspiration, no guidance. Yeah. So you just fall back on your natural black. So the yeah. whole idea of the, the KFC video and the McDonald's hacks was going back to me being a council kid, old school, mm. yeah. cheeky chappy, how can we black ourselves, Hank? Yeah, yeah. And that's what that KFC video was. So we bought a Rustler burger <laughs> from a shop, yeah. frozen one, <laughs> fridge one. We went in the KFC drive through We bought a chicken burger, Yeah. got the receipt, got the bag. Didn't leave the drive through drive round the drive through <laughs> While I'm doing it, he's swapping yeah. the burgers. <laughs> yeah. yeah? So just in on camera, he's doing it like that, so you can't see. Pulled back around, I said, listen, mate, we've got a problem. He said, what's that? I said, I've got a cold burger, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that ain't our burger. I said, well, I ain't left drive through I just bought it. There's the receipt. There's your bag, my mate. Check the cameras. And he had to chop it over. <laughs> yeah. And because that went well and that blag went, millions, tens of millions. Yeah, of yeah. Years, yeah. Pop, it went. Everywhere. Then we thought, right, we'll do that with French fries and McDonald's. Yeah. And then we do it. And all of a sudden, because we got barred from KFC, yeah. me and my son went out at 12 o'clock at night yeah. with masks on. I think I had a giraffe. Yeah. You look like a hippo. Yeah. <laughs> Marigold gloves on. And we put a ladder up at the KFC sign and we branded it with our sticker. Stuck as fast. <laughs> so now we've done a Banksy. Yeah. So now we've done a Banksy and we branded KFC. The views just kept going. Yeah. I think we had over 100 million views in a month of April yeah. when we come back. Bloody hell. We Biggest good. month we've ever had. That turned into money all of a sudden. But that's what I mean. Memorable because that's the one I remember. That's the one. Mm. Yeah. That was the one big month that blew us up. Mm. and we earned some decent money out of it. We had big views. Our following was just skyrocketing. Yeah. And before we knew it, we had a million followers. Yeah. yeah. At that stage, just learning what to do. Like when these brands are approaching you, like what? Like how much careful. you charge? And like, it, it's hard, isn't it? But that sort, yeah. of thing, that, like, that sort of thing there could be like deemed as like a brand might not want to touch You can't do it. Yeah. You can't do it. And mm. that's, this is the thing, right? This is when it turns from fun to work. Yeah. yeah. Because now we could never do anything like that whatsoever because we've got too to business, many brands. Yeah. yeah, We're a business. We're a brand. I mean, we represent other companies. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I get questioned on some of the Yeah, stuff because like yours that. is on the other side of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's swearing involved. It's on the cusp. It's not professional, is it? Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, We're not allowed to swear. I yeah. know what I am. Yeah. And because I'm doing it for a different reason. Yeah. All right. Sometimes I might get a bit of a, 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 a a sweetener off of a company or yeah, something. Yeah, a little brand deal with take a chance whatever. with me or whatever. But I know that most brands are probably not going to touch me with a barge. No. Nah. But I can accept that. Yeah, because and you're yeah. going down the comedy route yeah, and that's where you're like going to sell ticket sales later or whatever. on. Yeah, yeah. we'll swell. You've got to know. We hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a fine line with you're it. You're not like... giving me a lot of confidence <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, you might do, Pete. Yeah, yeah, keep going, mate. Yeah. It's a fine line, man, because like when we do our radio, we have compliance training and sensitivity training. This is the first year we've had sensitivity training. Yeah. Because that's how many people are out there waiting to be offended. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we so work bad. with some They're big national complain, brands. Yeah. We work with some big companies, some of the biggest in the industry. Yeah. And if we was to swear on camera, if we was to talk religion, talk racism, if we talk sexism, whatever, boom, they wouldn't come yeah. here. Yeah. You've got to be so careful. Yeah. And you're only one video away from losing It's a shame, the really. Might not do that really while pre recorded yeah. yesterday, then. <laughs> no, but it's terrible. <laughs> Where's the freedom of speech? It's it? terrible. Mm. But the problem is, people, we live in a snowflake society and people mm. are flaky. Mm. They, they, they're just so easily offended because they're sitting at home and they're waiting to be offended. Yeah. And I had this conversation. I've got teenagers, I've got a 19 year old girl, 17 year old boy, and I can upset my daughter just like that. Mm. Because she lives in this Gen Z environment, you yeah, know? Yeah, she's here. Yeah. She, this is this is what she's feeling, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's crazy. It's so crazy. And I'm an area ass builder. Mm. I'm bald, I'm fat, I'm tattooed. I come from a, a building family. So we effing blind. Yeah. It's all natural, the time. isn't it? Yeah. You mm. try and do live national radio. Must have been hard at the start. Yeah. yeah. It is hard. 
It's all even now. Do you want us to bleep your bits out? Yeah, just bleep, yeah. Just make, 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 us, make sure we bleep it. <laughs> even, <laughs> now, it even now with it, isn't it? Are yeah. you like thinking about not to swear? Sort of because thing? you try, yeah, yeah, but that's where it becomes, well, it becomes. You get used to it. You get used to it and you get trained for it. Like our producers are great, man. Yeah, they're unreal. And, they, and our radio, they went to university. So mm. they both went to university for radio. <laughs> this is the yeah. crazy thing, right? Me and him are uneducated, not a GCSE to our name. Mm. We have two radio. I'm sure being drama. Oh, did you? Well, that, that's worked well then. Thanks. Yeah, All right, lovey. Hilly, just. I live about writing my thing down. We've got two radio producers, both went to university, and we employ subcontractors, two yeah. university grad video editors. Mm -hmm. So it shows you that you don't need an education nah. to do well, doesn't it? Radio producers, both yeah. For uni. Yeah. We've got four uni bods around us, mm. and there's me and him. Can't three yeah, a second. Must have, I sort of had that conversation with my daughters the other day, like, because they're like, in secondary school now. I mean, and they're doing really well. Mm -hmm. But I said to them, and probably, I don't know if it's the right thing to say, they worry about homework and all this. Yeah. Like, you know, so school isn't going to... No. It ain't going to make you... Do ain't you know for everyone. I mean? I hate yeah. it you don't have to do so. great at school to do well on the outside. I ain't for everyone. Nah. I pulled my son I mean? out of school just before he'd done his GCSEs. He had a little bit of drama, mm. and I can see either I was going to go back inside or he was going inside. Mm -hmm. because he had a little crowd around him and he's getting a little bit troublesome. Yeah, he's having a bit of trouble. And I thought, I'm going to have to get dirty in a minute and I'm going to have to go and hurt someone. And mm. he got to that stage mm. and my wife said, be careful, we've got a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah, just be careful. And I said, you know what, he's coming out of school. And I pulled him out because I've been up to school to try and resolve it. Yeah. And they weren't dealing with it. And he had a tear up and he caught himself with a black eye and I was mm. like, I'm not having this. Well, that's just what the same thing is happening with my little girl now. At the moment, she's getting a bit of yeah. trouble at school. and you, know, nightmare. you just think. Yeah, you want to hurt someone, and, and the schools mm. and the schools don't want to do it because they don't want to upset the bully. Exactly, because they look at the bully as a victim as well. Yeah, that's what yeah. they, they do. They just make them look bad on their on their Ofsted and whatever else, and mm. it's just numbers, mm. isn't it? Yeah. So in the depth of it, we pulled my Ted out of school, and he's with us full time. Yeah. And I tell you what, man's running one of my. He's running our family page, so mm. he's doing editing content, he's uploading content, mm. he's he's commenting back as well. He's yeah, yeah. He's, just he's like with a us man, all man. of the time. Mad. He's 16 and you'd think he was a 25 year old man. Yeah. Mm. He's in the boxing now. So mm. since then, I've got him in the boxing. I reckon any of them boys, I let them stand in front of my tent. No, everyone yeah, no he's chance. a big them, boy. Yeah, yeah no chance. Well, you're and, a big boy. Well, yeah, but my daughter, you talk about your daughter. My daughter's 10 and she boxes and she comes boxing. Oh. Yeah. Get him in the you boxing. You want to punch off her. <laughs> Get him in the boxing. And this is, yeah. This is well, I just started. You just doing boxing? I just started at 44, yeah. Good, isn't it? Are you 44? It's knackered me. It's good though. I went, I've been twice. Don't look 44. I've been I twice. In, I've been Did twice in back <laughs> off. I thought you was Amish. <laughs> a ginger. A ginger Amish. <laughs> <laughs> he did get long in it. He, he did know why he does that and it covered that chin. That's the only reason that's there. Which one? <laughs> um, uh, no, I've only started, but training, I'll tell you what, I went the first week and it was quite light and I was probably just getting into it because I don't. I, We've all had a tear up in the yeah. street and all that. Different. But, but when you're boxing, different. You don't know how to fight. Do you? Strength and conditioning, you, you mate. You don't. You, you don't you know just, how to really fight. Don't, don't know how to throw a punch, punch do you? Like, I was like, what? What do you mean I've got to put my feet like that? Yeah. Do you know what I, mean? like, I hey, normally this jump. This don't feel natural. <laughs> normally man. got a chair on stage. Standing afraid. Wrestling, isn't it? The second week I went. I, I went, I, I think they put us on, and I, I still like smoking that as well. I've done 10 minutes on the tread, 10 minutes on the bag, right? After like five done. minutes on the bag, I, was like, I can't, lift your arms. I can't, right? And, and the trainer went, get down and everyone do press ups, get to him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, so you pulled it no, on from him. No, this is not good. Hardest thing, boxing. I couldn't, I couldn't at the end, I, and then we was doing some shoulder sparring, you know, when you just yeah. like, but, I couldn't keep Lift your arms on I think, mate, he just wanted to chin me to yeah. put me out of my misery. I was just like, oh, oh. I just can't. <laughs> that was my Ted, wasn't it? Do you remember Ted the first yeah. time? Oh, he got done, to yeah. that. We'd done a shoulder workout just before, oh. and he was there, man. He just said, like, Dad, I can't feel my arms. <laughs> you can't even throw it. But he keep going. Yeah. Keep mm. going. Yeah. We, we, we just got involved with a little boxing gym down in Bognor, Ockley. And, um, yeah, I've seen that. We're getting, yeah. yeah. So it's, this is this is us giving back, right? Mm, yeah, so yeah. he's been going. Faz, his name is. He's a boxer. Thirty year, thirty year ago, he's mm, been into mm. having his own club at ten, mm. going nowhere. He ain't getting no backing. He's getting no support. We got to know him randomly. I went for a sports yeah. massage and I got to know him. Mm. In the depth of it, we said, "Look, let us help you out. I'm bringing the kids down to see if we like it, see how you are." And he went through a divorce, so he's got his mojo back. Yeah. Mm. We said, "But let's put a show on." So we put a show on. He kept the ticket price on the door for the club. Nice. Cost us about three grand to put the show on. I said, we'll cover that. You keep the ticket price, pay the rent for two months, three months. Mm. Yeah. Little churches in. 
done well. We had to turn people down. Yeah, it was rammed. So we've got another one booked 27th of I've April. I've seen the, the undercard. Is it, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so Raider. Wilson, Wilson Raider, Raider <laughs> and Iceland Man Matt. Yeah, but yeah. this is governed by England Boxing, right? So mm. we're getting to learn everything. Right. So we've got this other one booked in 27th of April. We've, we've changed location. 500 people we can Five, Yeah, 500 capacity, yeah. We've got the lighting system, we've got a smoke system, we've got a red carpet for the fighters. This is only yeah. an amateur show. Yeah. yeah. No one's getting paid to, to fight. There's no. 20 bouts, and then at the end, when all the judges go away, because it's, it's unconditioned, you can't condition this, we've got Wheelstone Raider <laughs> and Iceland Man Matt, who used to work with us, the two scrawniest little fellas, yeah. both in their 60s. Having a scrap. Yeah, yeah but they're not that allowed. 60? Yeah, uh, 50, 50 odd. Will Stone's oh, 50. Oh, I know you mean. What? Yeah, the, um, one we hang no upside fans. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's so, fighting our mate Matt. But we're not. But it's not a fight. <laughs> no, it's we've a, been told yeah. we have you to promote it as fight, yeah. uh, entertainment. Entertainment. So they're going to run around. Hey, donk. Hey, donk. Right. Yeah. But it's going to be great. Yeah. And it's a show, and it's for the kids. Yeah, and, it, and the it's idea, all and the reason about we're doing it, it? Yeah, and it's to keep the kids off the streets because someone got held up at Knife Point a little while ago where we yeah. live, mm. and it's all about keeping kids off the streets, out of trouble, and out of jail. And if we mm. can do that, yeah, with hundred kids, we've done our job, mm. and that's us giving back. And well, then, it's the, even if you just make one difference one of them, in yeah. it, to and we have yeah. multiple, like the, the, we we doubled the. The yeah, football the, already. The gym's just ran now. It is brilliant it's already. That's good. So we're looking for a new location which we can put them in as a permanent location so they feel safe and secure. Yeah, yeah. We've already gone out and bought a load of boxing gear ready to go. Mm. So that's at our place in storage. So that's we're ready. Brilliant. This yeah. year, it will happen, and there'll be 300 kids down there, hopefully, yeah. two, 300 kids. Mm. We went from, like, five to about 30 in, like, one session. Yeah. And it's just fitness. Yeah. yeah. My daughter goes for fitness. My son don't go. He ain't going to be a professional fighter, but he's... He's good and he can learn to fight. Mm -hmm. Fitness. You haven't got to want it as a career. Yeah, well, trying to get a boxer Fitness down is it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like well, professional. well, Johnny Fisher, we, we went and saw Johnny Fisher. Bosh, he just done well in Vegas, didn't he? He's going to come down did, and see us, yeah. Did you go to Vegas? No, nah. nah, we couldn't. I did see work. him smashing the crap out of someone yeah. in the last yeah, yeah. one, yeah. First yeah. round, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, when we I, didn't go to Vegas, no. Yeah, when I done electrics, my mate Chev, I was in the same course. He's a professional now, under matchroom. Is he? Yeah, wow. Chev Clark, he's a cruiserweight. Sick. I recently went to Belfast with him. I could potentially ask him if he... That'd be great. He's been on the same card as Johnny Fisher as well. Has he? Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, I could ask unreal. him to see if he'll go down. Yeah. So we've got this thing on the 27th of April. If we can get a couple of faces down there for mm. then, because you're going to speak to Johnny about it as well. Yeah, yeah. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. Publicity is great for everyone mm. all around. We're filming the whole thing. Mm. There's some great, great footage out of the last one, didn't we? This one's going to be leveled yeah. up. We're basically taking like the boxing page, the... Ockley Boxing, which is the gym, mm. and just trying to make it a bit bigger than what yeah. it is. Growing it from like 89 to like 700 followers in a couple mm, of weeks. And yeah. we'll do it for a year and then we'll let them run it then. Mm. Yeah. So we're just literally jumping in for a year, setting them up professionally so they look good, and then we'll step away and, and run it. That's yeah. good. It's good that, no, that you can just do that structure. for people. Yeah, that's mm. a positive thing that comes out of doing like the social media and all that. Just out of anything in life. I think if you're doing well in life, no matter what industry you're in, if you're doing your, your gas apps or whatever else and you're doing well, if you give back, God will give you it back. Yeah, yeah. And, and when we when we had our downfall in life and we, and we lost it all, we sort of found it a little bit, didn't we? And we mm. sort of said, you know what, listen, you've got to give a little bit to receive a lot. Mm. So go up two steps, come back one, go up it's two steps, come back one. It's not all about taking, is it? No. no, it's not. It ain't. And 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 for your own sanity and for your own self and for the universe, give a little bit. Yeah. Mm. It comes back tenfold. Yeah. And all the time that I've been doing good, because I weren't always a good fella, growing up I was a little shit. Mm. So all the time, and that's why it got taken off me. Mm. It's good that you realise that though and change. Not a lot of people do change. Do they? Oh, listen. Mm. Yeah, there's another day. This ain't the podcast for that story because <laughs> I'm going to write a book one day. But let yeah. me tell you. Yeah, I've nearly done a 10 stretch. Big. So I went through that life, come through it, got taken off me, pulled me pants down and said, right now, crack on and learn what you mm. learn from what you've done. Start yeah. again. Start again. And that's what we're doing now. So, yeah. Mm. And we're on this journey now for the last 10 years and being good. What's mm. nice is that you've both been through it together. Hello, you wonderful listeners and watchers. Just pumping the brakes on this exciting episode to let you know about Kieran's app. That's changing the game in the gas certificate world. If you're sick and tired of doing gas certificates on paper, then gas certificate app is your way forward. But it wouldn't be an app worth talking about if that's it. With no hassle, you can manage your diaries, invoices and quotes for all your jobs so you'll never be chasing paperwork again. Don't forget those boiler manuals. I can tell you how many times I've been looking at a boiler and thinking, what the... Thankfully, the in-app boiler manuals have saved me and got me out of quite the pinch. If it's helped Pete here, then gas certificate app will definitely help you. 
especially with its easy to use gas red calculator and the extremely handy ability to duplicate certs. Brilliant for when you're doing your annual services on previous jobs. So click the link down below or in the description. Use the code POD30 to get 30% off yearly subscriptions. That's for all new users. That's POD30 for 30% off our yearly subscriptions for new users. Did yeah. you, you were not family or anything, are you? He, we, 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 I met Sam because he was my wife's sister. Mm. She's Sam's younger than Sam. She was with him back yeah. in the day. So that was how we met. He ain't with her no more. He's got a new new bird. Mm. But he still won't sound to my mm. kids. We used mates. to like stick through that together, those. 100%. Because having a partnership is not always easy. And you nah. st stuck it's through hard. the whole thing. Bro, do you know the partnership? Yeah, when you had your mental health issues and whatever else, yeah. lockdown and your head went, he had six months off camera, four yeah. months, five months, whatever yeah. it was. Uh, yeah, about four or five months, I think. I don't he was off camera completely. So that's when I introduced the family into our content. And that's yeah. when it took a change again. Mm. Yeah. So you can't be afraid with that, but he was always there. Mm. Was that when, because of doing the social media, was it? or you just... No, I, I was... Um, I had a gambling habit. I was gambling thousands and thousands oh, of really? pounds. Yeah, yeah. Ended up in about 20 ish grand's worth of debt. No, I'm 30, mm. wasn't it? Yeah, uh, 20 years. So I don't no, know. I'm not it. Um, anyway, ended up in loads of debt and then um, ended up taking all my like the antidepressants at yeah, once, yeah. ended up in hospital. And then, yeah, just come out and I just needed to get away from everything and just mm -hmm. sort of take a step back. And Brad took over the page while. Yeah, well, was I, curve, so, I yeah, didn't do the posting before yeah. that. Well, I sort mm. of recovered, if you like. Right. Mm. What else would you pull out of that? Like having Brad there as well, or what yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, side? if if I didn't have Brad, family, and and the support there, it would have been mm. a different what story. You, what was you gambling on? What? Right. Uh, anything? Ice hockey, football, oh, and nice. roulette, ant race, ant race, oh, the roulette <laughs> machine things. Yeah, roulette. Yeah. Them Online, things are yeah, fucking evil. Brutal. Isn't they? I've seen it. I've played them in the bookies. I used yeah. to have a little bit of an issue mm -hmm. with them. I'll, have, I'll hold my hands up and say that I don't do them anymore. But they are. I believe. I remember when them things first come out, mm. right? And I swear to you now, they were all paying out. Mm. I swear yeah. they yeah. were paying out to draw you. To draw you. Well, yeah. that's, that's an addiction. That's like yeah. anything, though, isn't it? Habit, isn't it? Yeah, they, they, they drink drugs. They've the stopped same, them it? in the shop now. Like, you can only put a couple of quid on, but in online, it's, it's just another it's, it's beast. It's at your hands, isn't it? It's another beast, man. You can sit there and do Does it don't feel like real money, spin. does it? No. If you, if it you're doing it online, is it all the time it's on your phone? I used to, I used to yeah. play it online. And do you know what? Because I used to play do football bets. Uh -huh. But what would happen? I'd play like... Um, I'm not massive gambling, but uh -huh. even if you start at like 50, bit. 60 quid a week, that's still 50, 60 quid yeah. a week. What you don't need Adds to up. do. Adds do you know up, what I mean? Yeah. And like, but, but what then is, you get addicted to you it, can, now, didn't you? That. You, Adds can, up. you can you can cash out, can't you? Yeah, and then you can yeah. put back on. It's mm. all at your fingertips. Yeah. Isn't that, do you know what I mean? And that's you where you were. Well, yeah. You can have a bet that goes wrong and then you can still bet in play. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'll have another go at that. It's fucking evil. It's evil. It chases you. Yeah, I had a friend that happened to him like gambling and they allowed him no access access to the like online yeah. gambling stuff. So he can't log in. Yeah. They won't let him. So you can it, do yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, so I barred myself from it. Gam stop, yeah. You can stop mm. yourself you from can do that. every website. A friend of ours, though, isn't it? On a bank. A friend of ours did it. Was it 300 grand? <sighs> Showed us. It's, yeah, within... 300 bags. Not long. Showed me his account as well. Yeah, a week. Showed me his account. Within a week. No, it won't. It was 48 hours, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quick. It was it like was a record. Stupid. He was doing like 10 grand spins. He just went on a bender mm. and just done a lot, yeah. But Close friend of ours. But the thing is, when you bang loads of money into it and you're either uh, like and you winning, the bookies will then start taking you to like horse racing, football, and they, they basically reward you for spending loads of money. Yeah. And it just... It's but just that's a just the way of getting yeah. it back. Yeah. Yeah, but this is no different to working with brands. No, when yeah. you work with brands, they entertain, right? Yeah. So yeah. you go out of a brand, and a brand will come out. We go for a night out, mm. and a night out is a drink, mm. and then it's eating and drinking. It goes on for two nights. You have yeah. got to be careful. You have got to mm. be careful of the circles you keep in general. Yeah. Because yeah. that can happen in any industry, not even just mm. a yeah, gambling. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Because and then and a lot of going back to the influences of, of today's age, mm. they all get caught up in that romance. Yeah. Mm. And they all go out partying, mm. thinking, and, and they call it networking. Mm. And the big brands call it networking. Oh, we have to come out and network. We'll take you all yeah. racing. We'll take you to the football. We and all of a sudden, you're away from your family. You're not spending time with your wife and kids. Mm. And you're socialising and networking get with these people. Yeah. Because they're only doing it to get off you what they want. Yeah. You're just a number. Mm. And it's the same as the gambling mm. side of things, isn't it? Yeah. But he done well. He come right through it. He cleared up all your debt, didn't you? Yeah, I cleared up my debt. And <clears> I got uh, into my flat now. 
done. Mm. Bought a place. Bought a place. So within two years. Yeah, two turn years. Turn it around. Turn it completely. Around, yeah. yeah. Within two off years. Off the tablets. Off the tablets completely. That's only recently as well. Two weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. Just come off of. I admire that. That's yeah. The gambling thing I admire though, because I could imagine where he was at with it. Cause I see it. To come out of that, pay back time. everything, and he went cold turkey. When mm. I say cold turkey money wise, he was living off hundred quid a week, mm. living at home with his mum, and this wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Nah, two week, uh, two years ago, yeah, two, two three two, years ago, three years ago. And then what he was doing, and we had this a chat, and we said, right, pay your debt back, live off bare minimum, and you didn't know at this time, yeah. But in the background, I was saving his deposit for him behind the scenes mm. in the business, mm. and then two years down the line, I said, to you, are you ready? And his head was clear. And I said, you ready? He said, what for? I said. I was trying to transfer his bank. And I transferred him his deposit money. So it's his money. Yeah. He's worked for it, but he just didn't know that I was doing it for him yeah. in the background. I was paying the tax for him and everything. Yeah. Right. So in the yeah. background, it was all done. So he had his lump of money up front and he can go and buy himself a flat. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So that was it. But that's, he grafted it for two years. It's yeah. decent. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where it works together. It, when I say grafted for the for us. Cool, yeah. yeah, you're strong. You must feel together, like brothers. Oh, 100%. Together, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so when you go back about being awkward and stuff like that and gets hard sometimes, because <clears throat> he was with the wife's sister and she's like my daughter, because I was with my wife when she was in her mum's belly. Mm. So I've been with my wife since I was When 13. your wife was in your mum's belly? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been with my old woman since, since we were 13. Yeah. So right. she's, she's, got, she's 40 and her sister's 25. So when she was 15, her mum was pregnant with her sister. Oh, right. And then they lost their dad. So then I ended up being She'd been the dad's figure. The, the man and the family. And yeah. Family, yes. And then her mum and her mum and her sister moved down to Little Hampton. And then three years, four years later, or whatever, we moved down. By that time, she's in school and that's where they met. So when we moved down, I said, I met him. He was caught in her sister. Right. So we're a big family. We're having Christmas dinner together. Yeah. We're going holidays together. We're doing everything. Mm. Uncle Sam, my kids don't know nothing different mm. than them two split. So now... Very awkward. Very awkward. She's yeah. got another fella. Do you get He's on got a bird. Uh, do you get on and you're still close. I don't see her. Don't see her. No, no. They, they got their own and me and him are best mates. Yeah. And but that's nice though because cause when it happened to me, right? Yeah. My friend's network, mm -hmm. right, went from, because that happens, didn't that's, it? Mm. You'll have that and that. You've got joint friends, haven't you? Yeah. But then, yeah. them friends who, who, who I socialised with yeah. outside of our relationship I socialised with mates who mm -hmm. are considered mates who have, with their part with her mates yep the other halves on that as soon as we everyone cut, cut ties with nothing yeah and I'm it like it just shows you all your friends are, it, it does yeah. 100%. and we've all been there and, and mm. people have seen it on camera mm. we've had ups and downs with people who have come in our firm and gone mm. and come and gone they only ever come because they think they're going to get boom they yeah. think they're going to get it given them. Mm. Yeah. And they don't realise what Nothing we've gone through easy, in the background yeah. for the years. They, they, yeah. People forget that. Yeah. People forget that we've been in the ground and we were splitting 50 quids together cleaning mm. gutters out. Mm. Yeah. So when you can stand there and go out and do a day's work and be out for 10 hours and come mm. home with 50 quid and take 25 quid each. <laughs> and still be happy. And still smile and say, I'll see you in the morning, brother. <laughs> And still do that together, then you know you're meant to be. Yeah. When you can go through these problems together and come out, you know you're good together. 100%. So when you have a couple of quid, it's only a couple of quid. It goes yeah. tomorrow, it goes tomorrow, whatever. That's what it is. Yeah. Money's money, man. Yeah, Money's shit. Yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Money is easy. toxic, isn't it? It is, and we all strive for it, and we all want it, and we all need to go and get it because we all got family to feed, and we yeah. all got aspirations. We all want nice cars, want nice holidays, want nice houses. But you strip it back. You don't need that shit. Mm -hmm. No. Strip it right back. Yeah. It's true, isn't it? Mm, and you're just as happy. Yeah, 100%. It's, it don't matter how much you've got in the bank either. You, like, you need happy. somewhere to live, right? And, and I've got a little mortgage on my house at the moment and it does my nothing because I said I would never get a mortgage again because I had dramas with them. As soon as that's paid off, then you've got F you money mm. because then no one can take your own away from you. Yeah, I you can't never lose else. it again. My family is secure. Yeah. So my task now over the next two years is get this mortgage paid off and then whatever. If I'm here still doing what I'm doing and I will be if I'm not. Just then... do what makes you happy, innit? Like, whatever that is. Mate, just, yeah. I ain't here for a long time, mate. I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be super. I just want to make sure that I've got that little bit of place paid for. Because people work 24 7, but you've got to enjoy that, right? Like, yeah. Go, yeah, go and do things you want to do that makes you happy. Don't try and work your ass off too much because mm -hmm. you ain't going to enjoy it. You never know what's around the what corner. What are you going yeah. to work for? I used to do this. My dad used to do it. You go and work seven days a week mm. and you work your evenings whilst so your old woman can go out and buy another pair of shoes. Mm. Or, or you, or you can have an extra little bit of an holiday, or whatever else, and you're too tired to enjoy it. Yeah, you have got to try. It. It's the hardest you thing. You got to think. Why are you doing that? I asked my question, uh, myself the question the other week. Like, why am I doing what I'm doing? Like, yeah. What is my purpose? 
And it's it's a hard question to answer. You need an out. Mm. You need an out plan. Yeah. Always have an out plan. And then once the out plan, I ain't got a fucking in plan. Yeah, but you need it. <laughs> and this is the thing, right? You need structure in life. Yeah. Have 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 an in plan. Find that first. We'll of get all. that one first. Find that first. <laughs> we'll sort that out. Then you get your out plan. Then you get to that out plan. You you make that a success. Then you set a new in plan, and you yeah. go again. And then yeah. you go again. Yeah. Because you don't want to roll over and fall asleep and and die. So you got to keep moving, but mm. you need an out. Because otherwise, where are you going with it? Mm. And this is the problem. We we did this with socials. Yeah. We should have cast out our socials a couple of three years ago mm. when it was booming. Mm. Socials mm. have changed completely now. Yeah, cut so the three, different. four year yeah, ago when got, it was booming. You got people like me on there now. Yeah. It's, just, it's, <laughs> it's, a market, a it's like any market. The market saturated, is just it? saturated yeah. and flooded. And, and there's plumbers. people out there now flooded. who Absolutely. are killing it on views. And we ain't because they they, they they got different hunger. They've hit a different audience and they're doing mm. what they're doing. Mm. Yeah. Whereas we've gone down the road of sustaining our brand, mainstream radio. We've got TV coming up this year. We've got, so it's mainstream. Yeah. So now you've moved, you morphed from being social media idiots because we was at the start. Yes! Yeah. Not you, but we was at it's the start. He's pointing at me. When, when, social when media we were doing our KFC videos, what I was referencing, yeah. social media idiots <laughs> trying to get a view. Idiots. And then morphing it into what it is now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And but you've got we, to have a plan. We posted two videos a day, every single day for the last 10 years. Never missed a beat. Never missed a beat. Mm -hmm. Every day, consistently. Is Content we all Platforms. That's yeah. on just, That's yeah. just hard work in yeah. itself, though, isn't it? That's a full-time job. It's like... <laughs> I get up like in the mornings and I think to myself, uh, a lot of my stuff's off the cuff. Yeah, There's a lot of just the van, spontaneous fault. Everything's in the van. And then just post it. I post it on Instagram primarily. And then I think to myself, oh, fucking hell, I forgot to post it on Facebook as well. And I know it's not a lot, but it, it's like on the edge. You know you can like, tag them two together, right? Yeah, I know you can. <laughs> I, know you, I know you can, but, but some people say you shouldn't do it like that. Yeah. There, there's other people have got other yeah. ways of doing it and stuff. And I'm think, and then they go, oh, you must then hashtag this. Or you must put this thing in here. And I, I think, I just want to fucking express myself. Yeah. Do you know what? Post it. Do you know the whole social algorithm now is very much what Google AdWords used to be yeah. or Google SEO? Yeah. You know when SEO first coming out, come out? We spent 100 grand one year on SEO experts, keyword analysis, mm. banging out reports, telling mm. us what words are ranking the best on search engines. Yeah. We once had 3,000 micro websites on Google. So we had thewalkdrilldriver.co.uk. Mm. And then we had thewalkdrilldrivers on that website. Because if you had the keyword in the title of your domain, you had 8% rank. There, yeah. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah, it's nice. So you're constantly, so with SEO, they change their algorithm every 30 days. So you're constantly so changing the yeah. yeah. same as social media mm. algorithm. You're constantly chasing it's like it. It's people hard. have that niche, don't they? They'll have their niche, like you say. Yeah. I've noticed this, like where you'll have like, I don't know, whatever niche I'm in, I started off in plumbing and then I've tried to go into sort of like common, comedy. <laughs> <laughs> How's <laughs> that working out? Yeah. That's like calling yourself an entrepreneur, you know but that. But you know what that I mean? That is as cringe as that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, darling. I'm a comedic entrepreneur. <laughs> I'm going to be the apprentice, sweetie. <laughs> no, but like they have niches, didn't they? So I was yeah. a plumber, and then I try and go into something else. Yeah. But then, then there's new niches out there now, like ASMR. And yeah. You know, and, that, and, that, and I think to yeah. myself, and people are smashing it on yeah. that. And I think you're chasing it. Oh, in I don't know. What yeah, do I do? I do it. Yeah. I'm just so going to stick with your. I'm just going to post what I post and yeah. leave it at that. Stick with just, what you know. Yeah. I think you're bang on there. What you just said, isn't it? Just stick to your, yeah. your yeah, path. Yeah. People mm. want to watch you because of you. It's not always just about the content. Yeah. yeah. And it'll come round. And yeah. like you do, you second guess it as creators. You second guess, you think, what are we doing wrong? And we had this, and I say, no, just stick to what just we're doing. Don't yeah. follow suit. Yeah, yeah. We never look at anyone's content and think we're going to follow that. Nah. Mm. Never. We always just do it. And when it's about your day to day life, it's about you then. Yeah. So it's easy. Mm. And that's where our content always is. Yeah. The family page for us is great at the moment. Mm. It's, it's churning. Yeah. I've got the wife involved, the kids involved. They're all posting mm. content. Yeah. It's about your everyday life, isn't it? Yeah. But it comes to the point where we stop that because it is intrusive. How mm. long do you do that for? Yeah. Yeah, you earn a living from Funny, it. Funny, isn't it, when you say that? It's intrusive because I'm no intrusive. I, I was never, I, I was never into social media at all. I never come on Facebook until mm. like late on because I was like, it's intrusive. It's your like, era, same as me. I'm 40 this yeah, year. It's that like, era, I don't isn't it? Fucking tell people I'm having a cup of tea. Yeah. Shit. What's yeah. that all about? What's, yeah. What is this about? Do you yeah. know what I mean? And uh, fuming. <laughs> huh? What's wrong, babe? Like, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, so I just was turned off by it. Yeah. But yeah. Then got into it. And I think lockdown was the thing that done it for a lot of people. A lot of yeah, people yeah, exploded. Yeah. We had it? Joe Wicks on the other day on the radio, the body coach. Yeah, yeah. And he was he Oh, blew yeah, up. my kids were doing PE he lessons to him. He yeah. blew up then. Yeah. Yeah. My kids were doing PE lessons to him and I was walked in one day and they're all doing it. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. 
Do you remember Uncle, lockdown? Uncle Joe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember lockdown like, when Tyson Fury did the live stream and he yeah. gra- told his kid to piss off? Yeah, that yeah, was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that. That was great. Yeah. That's how you want to be. You want to be like the Furies. Yeah, yeah. That's like our house, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. Crazy, absolutely yeah. crazy. Yeah, I've never been into social media until I like do the app and stuff. I'm like. All right, I've got to put myself out there and do the videos. And he can talk on camera for a while. He yeah. was like, he, he was talking to us in our group. He's going, oh, I don't know how I'm going to go about this because I can't do it. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I see a video uh, earlier on the way down here. Actually, he said you don't really talk much, and then you shut him up. Yeah, yeah. Him, oh, what the, the, yeah. The, uh, is that the said, editing guy? We're like, we're like, we're like, we're like, yeah. we're like George and Zippy off of Rainbow. Yeah. We? We're you the same. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're the same. You, you just get that. In the it's good to have that dynamics, yeah. isn't it? To be two different personalities. I've always said, and that's why our partnership works because we two we do two different parts of the business. So mm. I do all the paperwork, so the VAT, PAY, and all of that, and he does everything social. Yeah. So him and my Ted now. Yeah. Do everything social between them. I don't touch mm. social media, mm. posting, commenting, and such or anything, unless I've had a beer. Yeah, yeah, and then he starts commenting, and we have I to ain't start, done it for a yeah. while. I have to start Jan. blocking people and that. <laughs> start blocking. Yeah, he people. got his violations on TikTok. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> it just happens, isn't it? You just get an idiot, and you just think, I'm going to give you a bit of stick when I've had three beers. Uh, what was you And I give him stick. What did yeah. I do? We just had some little twat. Just kept like. <laughs> Putting like Z's on his like yeah. Oh, what's saying your boy? Yeah, I don't know why he thought that. Yeah, and then he blocked. Then he blocked him. (laughs) And then you blocked him. I blocked him. I know. What did I say? That's the way to do it. But then he had weird like because weird replied. Once you block them, it's like empty oh, comments. Yeah, like, so it looks yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What did I say? I said something. <laughs> yeah, but that's to, even funnier. I yeah. said something I to that. him. I can't remember what I said, but it was neither. Really, it wasn't offensive, was it? And I think. No, you just done a bit of humour back and yeah, didn't and, take it. And, right. Yeah, and I mm. think Ab called put a clown face on it because his his um, profile like picture clown, yeah. look. He had he's just oh, as okay. a clown. Gotcha. And she just went. You look, but I think it's a lot of this AI yeah, they yeah. Got like, generated, oh, yeah. like. Do you know the best way to deal with it? We've police. probably got a block list of about twenty thousand people on Facebook. Yeah, uh, yeah, no yeah. joke. Yeah. Because I don't have, we don't stack, we don't suffer it. So at first, you know, when you first start, you feel like you're putting this content out, and I hear it, and, I, and we're mates with Danny, right? Danny Madden. Yeah, I sat there and I spoke with Danny, and he takes it personally. Mm. I said to him, "Stop that." You're never going to get on all the time. You're taking it to heart. Yeah, yeah but I'm only doing a good job, and I'm mm. trying to show people how I do my work. Yeah, yeah. I just want a good bit of feet. I don't mind. Like, that's when mentally you're going to struggle if you can't cope with that. And that's it. Yeah. And I learned and early on with that, and I got into these battles online where we were slagging people back, and they was giving it. And I said, you know what? I'm wasting my evening, bro. Mm. Block and delete. You're matter nothing to my life. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So my wife matters a lot more to me. Yeah. Spending yeah. an hour with her than spending an hour with this yeah. dickhead. Mm. Yeah. And and that's why. And, and from there we just grew the block list. And it's yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm proud of that block list. Especially yeah. with the trade, though. Like, you could do something exactly the same as someone else, but it's wrong. Yeah, you know you'll I mean? get. You've got so many professionals online, uh, haven't you? If you, you know, better if, than you, if did you I get paid it, for yeah. it? Am I paying my bills? That's all yeah. I give a shit yeah. about. And I'm just showing you for because it's my. Uh, I'm like, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, and we're and all then, into this world now, isn't it? Why doing it like that? Yeah, yeah. jog on, mate. <laughs> but I think that's the bit. I think my yeah. Oh, we don't post too much of the work. We don't do no, that. Right. Try not what to. I get is like, if you know, right, if you think that I'm doing it wrong, right, and you know how to do it right, yeah. why are you fucking bothered? Because yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. it's not making any, you, you're doing it right. Yeah. Why don't you just go, well, I'm doing it fucking right. <laughs> I don't need to tell anyone, oh, I've got one up on you. Yeah. Do you know it's what I mean? Just, it's it's like, just to piss your day off. Yeah. yeah it's just no because, that, because people that comment negative comments are unhappy. Yeah. Yeah. Low self-esteem. Low Nothing self-esteem, unhappy. They're all women sleeping with his brother, whatever <laughs> it might be. Yeah. His dad's been around for a biscuit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's something like that's yeah. going on. And, I, and that's how I look at it. He's, and yeah. I turn He's it into comedy. He's lucky charms. <laughs> yeah. And I turn it into a little bit of banter to myself and I think, that's a dickhead. Yeah. He's obviously got brought up in a different way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just let him have his little say. And it's then not his fault. Delete. It's not his fault. Yeah, it's not his I fault. feel sorry for you, my son. Carry on. So if you're watching me, you little prick, <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault. Go and get back on your mum's tip. <laughs> Go and ask your mum for some milk. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think a burning question. Go on, uh, we went paper so up. deep that he's forgot about so that. So deep, he's lost his train of thought. A lot of people want to know when you went bald. Me? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people... I mean, you're the bald you builders, aren't you? 
I've had this haircut. I've had, no, I had a number one since 19. I'm 40 nearly. I'm 40 this year, 39 yeah. now. 40 is it, is it, is it all there, though? I shave it. I, I get an island head, so I shave it every morning. My mate used to have an island head. Yeah. I shave it every brilliant. morning, and it comes up here, and it comes round, and I get a little patch there. I could grow my hair and have an half-decent number one if I wanted yeah. to. Mm. But I've grown a brand, bought an house, feed my family off the back of it. I get up every morning <laughs> yeah. and I smile Shaving. when I'm shaving. <laughs> yes. I Do you smile. have to shave your head or anything? I'm not bald, mate. You're not bald, no. no You're receding. <laughs> no, I am bald, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same. I have a little island. Like, I like that island. Then. My mate ate one of them. Yeah. Like, and he wouldn't let go of it. Yeah. But he'd it's spike it. it. <laughs> like, he spike, he looked like a unicorn. Is that your normal hair? Yeah. It looks like he's been turkey. Yeah. All right, this is my normal hair, mate. Yeah. yeah. No, it looks this, like you've had hair transplant. This is 44 year old. I've not had hair transplant. <laughs> it looks a little bit <laughs> like an hair transplant. Yeah. I, no, I've not had hair transplant. <laughs> right, look, this is like my dad's hair. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Would you have one? Like that. Nah. 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 See, I'm, I'm like, I'll like, get a wig. I get a wig. He obviously do not need one. You can get pucker wigs, man. My mate's got one. Two pays. Two, but our mate's had one for years and years, 20 years now, before the trend of having it all over in Turkey. And he was in a tear up one night. <laughs> I, won't, I won't mention his name because he don't like nah, it. Don't, don't, don't. I can see where he's going. He was in a tear up one night and I fell and pulled his hair off. <laughs> and he said, I've done him. And he embarrassed me so bad. Two years later, he met him in the pub in the toilet yeah. and he kicked Granny out of yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he held on to that embarrassment yeah. for two years. I thought he was going to say, held on to the wig. <laughs> <laughs> Where's me wig? And he held Where's me wig? <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they were working in a loft once as well and it got caught on a nail. I'm not laughing. It's a great guy. He's wig. 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 He's it was great. Uh, There's so many blogs out there, though, getting it. We've been yeah, offered it three yeah. or four times for nothing. Meant to be. Painful, Come over to Turkey, yeah, get it done. It don't yeah. It's yeah. It meant to be. Like I've had a couple of mates who've had it done. They said it's the most painful thing they've oh. ever had. I've had we've a few mates have got it done now. Probably oh, a handful. Do it, yeah. I just think grow old gracefully. Yeah. Mm. It God made good. us who we are, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, we can't all be great looking like Sammy, can we? No, we can't. With that, with that Amish bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, Are you any good at bowling? <laughs> yeah, bang yeah, on. You see that film, wouldn't it? Was it called? The one with... Um, the oh, what's big, it called? Bigler's... Uh, no. no. He's got his... The, he's got a hook hand, didn't he? What's his name? We oh, spoke about uh, it the other day. Where's he going? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> what's it called? Scary movie? No. No, 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 no. It's a bowling film and he stays in the hotel and to pay his rent. He has to, he has to do a bit of dirty business. Woody Harrison. Land, Woody Harrison. He does a bit of dirty Kingpin. business. Kingpin. Kingpin, uh, yeah. Great film. It. Brilliant. You, great you, film. The Army guy. Yeah. yeah, great it's film. Nah, don't, we, even get, don't even go there. <laughs> do I watch film? <laughs> he goes, then he goes out. I don't really watch film. He goes, he goes to live with the Amish community. He goes, I've <laughs> just milked your cow. He's got milk around. <laughs> we don't have a cow. We have a bull. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not a film buff then? No, no I, I, feel, I feel so far behind. Like Same. they bring up a film, even only falls and horses. He keeps bringing it up. Well, I you never, don't know that. Oh, no, never, that's wrong. He never watched no. it. That's what, wrong. We keep bringing this up. We keep repeating this content. Watched. You ain't a real tradesman. <laughs> no <laughs> chance can you call yourself a real tradesman and not know only falls and horses. I watched horses. a clip because I told a story of me hitting a chandelier. And they started going on about that. I was like, what are you going on about? Oh, oh mate, it's one of those things. It's embarrassing, yeah. isn't it? The films I'm with you on, but yeah, yeah. only fools, man. You've got to know that. I need to watch it. Invest, just invest a weekend and yeah. binge yeah. it, and then you're up to date with it, and then you'll get what most British humour's about. Yeah, you yeah. might. Because most British humour's based you on Barney Falls and Horses. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you might like be reborn. Like, you yeah. Know, you might yeah. Change your life completely. Come back and cut your hair off. We've done so many Only Falls and Horses remake. Yeah. Yeah, he did, done did well that. for us. Yeah. You know, we do the voiceover stuff yeah. and we do the acting to oh, it and that. Do you done know well, what? man. I want to do an Only Fools and Horses remake. What? Right? Like we did what with the voiceover? No, um, i tell you what it was. I know you've done that because I said to Andy Cam about it, I think. or some, No, I said, to, I said to PB about it. That's what I said. And he said, not the one where you're falling through the bar. I went, nah. I said, because yeah, you've done, done that. that. And, yeah. and other people have done that. I went, there's another one. Mm. That I want to do. Have you seen the one where um, they go to um, Jolly Boys Out? Yeah, yeah. I knew you were going to say Jolly Boys. Before they go to Jolly Boys Out, in yeah, there is a trivial pursuit scene, right, where he's playing against the yuppie, and he brings it up, then and he goes, you know, people like me and you, Stephen, and he goes, what do you mean, people like me and you? He goes, you know, yuppies, and he goes, Dell. 
I can assure you I am not a yuppie. <laughs> and he goes, you are, son. <laughs> Take it from me. You are. You are. <laughs> and I want to redo that. Recreate scene. that. Yeah. I want to redo With the audio. With, with though, um, but it being influencers. Yeah, because yeah, there's yeah. a lot of like stigmatism <laughs> about being influencers don't like to be called influencers, do they? Oh, I hate that word. Mm. Yeah. But a lot of them don't like to be called it, do they? No. Nah. Because you're creators. One. It's not like you said, entrepreneur. Oh, I, I, they're like, they're like fringy it, words. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm yet to meet one, though, who don't like to be called influencers. Because no. like, everyone I've met, especially in the industry, love it because they love their ego. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I see it for this is what I see it as. I see it as if you. Being you call yourself creator, yeah, but I'll still call it influencer. And if I'm trying to pr tell somebody to buy something or promote something, you're influencing them into doing it. I guess that's where it comes from. Yeah, it? no, no, yeah, I get where the word comes from, but yeah, I, I just think, and if on a job, anything I feel formed out, what do you do? Is either company director or builder, mm. right? That's the word I ever use. If a company director or builder, I don't use radio, post, oh, no, use... no, but yeah, but there are. There are some people, and they use influencer. But, that's but, what I'm saying. But there yeah. are some people who are clearly like influencers and do brand things, like yeah. lots of brand things, and don't yeah. like to be called it. So I thought I'd mix that up as, you know, yeah, instead of play like around with influencer, it. influencer type yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And me being the person I, I am, <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good thing to be called an influencer. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, be yeah. that Dilbert type you. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's own, playing, it, own it, you mean? But yeah, it's playing and, and have fun with it, with it and have yeah. fun with oh, it. Oh, but not knowing the stigmatism around it. Yeah, 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 an influencer. yeah. You're flipping the script on it, yeah. yeah. So instead of you being playing on the ego, you're you're mugging it off at the same time of being it as well. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good. That's proper humour, isn't it? Having a bit of a having a laugh, banter. As <laughs> I like to call it, bants, bants. <laughs> do, do you see my cartoons we did? Mm. Full family. Tom, he was our guy and he was the animator. Animator. So mm. he'd done all the animations for us. So he wrote, so in lockdown, we come up with this idea of creating kids' books. Yeah, I see that. So we created, yeah. I wrote them and we created, well, we wrote, created one a month, self-published it, mm. launched it on our website, sold them, sent them out, picked them, packed ourselves a lot. Mm. So we did that for a year, for 12 months. We did one of season two, month 13, and then I got bored and I said, right, let's flip it and do cartoons. So then we started creating cartoons based upon the books and we were doing the voiceover for them. Yeah, I see it. So yeah. we did a few. Yeah. Become so expensive, man. Was it? And we yeah. just did, uh, it was so expensive. It would take for a five minute cartoon, took a month to edit because everything was drawn. So everything was hand drawn. Animation, it took this one guy yeah. a month to edit, put it all together. And because our audience is builder, women, whatever, not children so much, it just didn't take. Yeah. No. So we waited. We, we shut it down at the moment. Still there. Yeah. And we're waiting because Built now we family side. And then, family side yeah. been built up. We we made contact now with TV, and people we're working with are ex TV kids programs and whatever. Right, yeah. So hopefully God's putting us together for a reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a new remake of Bob the Builder. I was gonna say. I just yeah. got it, man, and I've got these stories in my head already of us. Not all superheroes wear capes. Somewhere on this. It's chicken. Yeah. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> 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 exactly that. <laughs> Not all superheroes wear capes. Some will an Arda and an Ivis. And I think if we show the kids the reason behind certain stuff, so why is that damp? What's damp yeah. all about? Yeah? yeah. Why, why is it bad for you? So educational. Yeah. As well as fun. And plus, it's, it's, so is that your goals for the future then? I think so. I think you're just sitting there. There's mm. nothing wrong. Sitting there. Like, just there's nothing try, wrong yeah. with that. A few things plan thing. around. That that thing of like putting that into kids as and we had a couple of gas engineers on last week, um, partners like Billy and Kaz, and saying like doing constructive stuff as a kid is really good mm. for them because when they come out into the big wide world or when they're at home just wiring a plug yeah. or something like that they practical, practical, practical skills that you need isn't it 100%. it saves you a lot of money these yeah. people that can't do DIY yeah but who wants to grow up as a, I'm not I'm talking about men now I know yeah. my daughter Savage she's going to be the female out of my family will probably run a team of fellas she's mm. that girl mm. yeah but just who my son said to me dad I don't want to grow up as a man not knowing how to do anything yeah he said, mm. I need to learn that I need you to teach me bits and bobs I need yeah. to learn how to fight yeah. I need to learn it's old school stuff, isn't it? Yeah, As a geezer. But, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with it. Either. No way. No, it's, it's, it's also it's also good for like for for the kids to read the books for when they get to school and someone says you're only going to be a builder, but you shouldn't only just be a builder. If you mm. come out of school and you're a builder, that's a good thing. That's right? a good thing. But everyone says you're going to go and work on a site. 
yeah, I'm going to go work on a site, but I'm probably going to earn double the amount of money that yeah. you do. We've done this the other day on radio, didn't yeah. we? I think to be a good builder now, you've got to be good in front of the camera, though, because mm. the world is in front of the camera as a builder now. That's the problem. Digital, mm. isn't it? Digital. It's you've digital. got to, to, if you're going to, I think all the youngsters now that go into the industry of any sort of construction. Yeah, labourers. They've got to learn how to, how to be in front of that camera at the same time, mm. and then they'll do well. Because if you don't, I think you might struggle. You fall behind, yeah. I think you might struggle. Yeah, it's going that way. It's it? going that way, yeah. man. I think it's only going to get stronger. New platforms open every month, don't they? Yeah. Some work, some don't. Facebook won't be a thing soon. It, you know, it'll be there, but it, it's yeah. dying a death yeah. now. The youngsters ain't on it no more. Yeah. I can see on my audience, yeah, it's all middle aged women. It's sort of like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, that ain't a bad thing, it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're way, yeah? <laughs> I hardly ever go on Facebook, only to check certain, like, certain groups. Certain but, things, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, it's I don't scroll on that. Yeah, you do nah. get like comments like people and say, Facebook? Oh, well, like carrier pigeon. Or is that yeah, like that and that's what I mean. I mean. But then TikTok, I, I, don't, I don't have social apps on my phone, but TikTok, it's just so young, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's so young, I, but we're I doing think a brand. Snapchat's even younger, isn't it? Snapchat, yeah. yeah. We did all right on there, and then we come off it and don't do it now. Nice. Steve-O does well yeah. with it. Literally me. just on Snapchat to communicate with my children. That That's a communication. That I don't have any following on no, doing yeah. it. See it's what I mean? It's a communication yeah. app. But TikTok. Oh, yeah, but we're doing a brand deal for a, for a big brand coming up, and they just want it on TikTok. Mm. Mm. It's just a TikTok campaign. But you can yeah. explode TikTok, can't it? That's the thing. It goes ups and down. We're just under a million followers on yeah. TikTok, and you thought you should have been at five million by now. Mm. We have videos on there. Well, I've got seventy million yeah. views. 50, 60, 50, 70, 60 million probably, views, and it just so it doesn't translate now. Views. Nah. We had one video when it got two hundred and twenty million views on Facebook. One video. Mm. Two hundred and twenty million views, and you think that would translate into followers, and it doesn't. Yeah, doesn't work like it's that. Weird. No. That's weird. It's the same like with um, like Instagram. I, I I remember when I first had a first, it didn't exactly go viral, but it was like a big hitter for me at the time. What sort of numbers? I think it was probably about only about sixty or seventy yeah, thousand. Nice. Good numbers. So, numbers. but that was when the first the. First, and I was going to my mates, I was going, I don't understand it. My followers... Followers ain't going up. No, they no, they, were, oh. they did go up. Yeah. Okay. I was going, I can't understand why. And then I looked at the views and I was like, oh, that'll be why. So it translated for you. Yeah, that translated. But now... It doesn't. I get a big hit and it doesn't seem yeah. to mm. as much How long now. ago was that? How long ago? The first one. Yeah, the first one. Probably about 18 months ago. Change, isn't it? We said two years. Yeah, it's two changed. Years. It's changed. The industry it's changed. People have changed though as well because that you have something has to change them to be able to make them want to follow you. It it's wasn't so a particularly choice, good it? post either. No. You know what I mean? A lot of my posts are shocking. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. 100%. But you'll find one that you that. think is shocking that goes ping and you go, whoa, what's that? All that about? was our two hundred odd million one. Yeah. Dead video. We filled up. We filled a coke bottle up with filler foam. Waited for it to explode. Put the lid on. And it didn't. Undone yeah. it, and he went, Yeah, I remember Because we kept the retention yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it went around the well three times and back. <laughs> Crazy. And it just like a gift, we kept just giving. Yeah. Yeah. Giving. And it's still working now. It still does its numbers now. It's still making its round. And that was years ago. Six, yeah, seven years, six years ago. Crazy. So, what is, uh, so we've spoke about what's uh, the, f the future hold already, haven't we? We said about that. Um, What's the future hold for you then? Yeah, what are you up to? Obviously, we we thought generally coming in today, we thought you were still a plumber, but you're not. I plumber. am a plumber. You mm. see, I am a plumber. How Stop come you got the murk outside and not the van? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you, you know the green van. You, yeah. 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 you, you see got that. the murk outside and not Did the van. Did you call the van? <laughs> Did you not? Is that your van? Is the green van? He said to me, "That's his van." I went, "Nah, looks like homeless man lives in it." I am. <laughs> oh, it's a delivery you ain't too far <laughs> for the truth. Been there, done it, mate. Don't worry about the van life. Mate, I've Jesus. had that van now for about... How long have I had that? I you pull know. up the jobs in that van? Yeah. No one you ain't going to work No one, no one you ain't getting no work for. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never got away from a van. Still in the van. Oh, Listen. Yeah. 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 What do you drive? It. What van? Transit Caddy. Customs. Oh. Same. Same as me. I've got Transit yeah. Crew, Custom Crew. That's me. Yeah. Every day I love it. Nobody robs that van of mine. No, I'm yeah. not surprised. They don't want to catch anything. Do you think you <laughs> chop your van in though? At oh, some point. Do you need a tetanus convert? shot? <laughs> I converted like it to a camper van, so I yeah. still use it. Yeah. Good. Nice. Yeah. So I still use it and go away and then stuff. So I think I don't think if you're in the industry, right, or anything, even even doing your trade apps and stuff mm. like that, I think if it's still based around the industry, having commercial vehicles is a good thing. Mm. You can yeah, run it through the business as well, right? Yeah. Mm. It's great, isn't it? You run yeah. it through the business. I've got a little connect van. Mm. 
Little, he's I got a connect van. van. Wife's got a truck. She's got a Ranger. He's got a connect van. And mm. I've got a custom. So we've got three full van commercial vehicles. Mm. Ain't got no cars. We don't drive nice cars or anything like that. I thought you had a small van. No. For some reason, I thought you had a little bling or something. No. no. I used to. Oh, I, I had a, but through the summer when I worked for the boiler company, I had a nice transit. I was rolling up one. Yeah. What's your dream car? Funny, man. What's your dream car? I've got to say this. So like, we do... <laughs> Go on. Oh, whatever. Go on. Let me hear your story <laughs> first. Go on. I mean, it's not even that bad. It's, but it's like, when I met my new partner, right, pulls up in a nice spanking white transit. Male, <laughs> male or female? No, I ask you because you say partner. I mean, I'm trying to be uh, non... Um, oh. I'm trying to be... Uh, oh, I worked around a, a gay fella's house once. Do you know what I say, right? Because this is what I was going to say. I was going to go... Me bird. Bird. Yes. I'll say it on radio. Yeah, I'll get pulled for that. I know. And why? Well, I don't know. But why? I don't know. But we 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 worked around a gay fella's house and someone said partner. He said, Oh, are you gay? He went, no, he said, why are you using the word partner? That's our term. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. I said it for the fact of I normally say bird. Bird. Well, we say bird. <laughs> I so say we can go bird, with that. Yeah, but fine. I know that I get pulled on it. Producer Will said it to me yeah. the other day. We was on the line it's of producer you're Will. Really, and you're talking about talking professional. <laughs> yeah. We so were on I... the line to producer Will and, and Sam went, How's your bird? He said, You mean girlfriend? Yeah, he said, shy. No, I said bird. I meant bird. Yeah. yeah. How's your bird? What's wrong How's with that? How's your bird? Nothing. But 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 these. I know. Right, but wait a minute. Right, and we might have to cut this. <laughs> He's taking notes. No, but He's wait. taking notes. But listen to me, right? This is the post I was going to do, right? And, and I've got to be careful with this one, right? Because people say that. And I think to myself, you, why? Sexist. No, it ain't. No. It's demeaning. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. Listen, these are the same people, right? These are the same people, right, who turn around and they go, I don't see colour. Yes. I don't see yes. colour. Yes, yes. Yeah? I don't yes. see, I see humans. <laughs> yes, where have you gone? Yeah. Nah, he's good. I, see, good. Yeah. I see humans and people. Right, so if you're a victim of crime and the copper asks you for a description. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? <laughs> they were human. <laughs> they were a person. <laughs> right, okay. So what did they look like? Uh, was was they, was they, uh, were they, were they white? Were they black? Were they Irish? How do I describe whether he's Irish? <laughs> oh, so it was a him then. Right, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. How do you explain when, <laughs> geez, whether he's Irish? How would I explain if he's Irish? He's a little guy in a green suit <laughs> with a ginger beard at the end he's of a so at the end <laughs> at the end of a rainbow. Yes. Your rainbow, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing offensive, I'm with you. is it? No, like, no. Just, but but yeah, I'm with you. I'm 100% with you. We have to be so with careful with that. Are we allowed to go with that? Well, listen, that well, we was fine. That was fine. In my yeah. eyes, yeah. that's fine as well. You have to be careful. Even We might have to cut the rainbow bit off at the end. But. When, we, <laughs> when I do family content indoors, I get called a bully sometimes. There's one yeah. couple of people saying, oh, you're bullying your son. This happened the other day, right? So the other day, little story for you. We go to the gym. I take my boy to the gym. We're, we're best mates as well. Mm. Us three are great together. Mm. So he comes to the gym with me six days a week. And we're training, and there's one geezer in the gym who poses, and he gets caught on camera posing. Yeah, yeah. And so my Ted, he takes the mick out of the fella. He says, "Look at your mate, Dad, over there posing. What a dickhead!" <laughs> and this is my 16 year old saying this to me, yeah. right? So anyway, so he's editing his video together, and he passed me his phone, and he went, "Have a look at that video, Dad. What do you think of the edit?" So I'm watching the video, and all of a sudden, it finished, and I flicked off it, see his camera roll, uh, and there was a picture of my Teddy. In the mirror at home, <laughs> uh, nosing. <laughs> right. So I launched. I was on one. I was in that mood. I grabbed my phone. I've got my wife. 15 minute video indoors. I'm screaming at the top of my voice. And his head just hit the table. Yeah, he's he's so bad. embarrassed. Boom. I've buckled him. Right. He's sitting there and he's like, no. I said, do the pose, bruv. No. I said, yeah. I've got him on the phone. Yeah. Sam sent me a picture of him with his shirt <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> and the video just went on and he's went on. Him right posted back. the video. He had to post it as well because he does the posting. Mm -hmm. He's like reluctantly posting right. it. Yeah. There were some comments on there. You're bullying your children. Yeah. <sighs> You're bullying, and there are loads of comments on there. You obviously clearly haven't followed them for a long time, whatever. Yeah. You're bullying your children. So then you go back into it and you start getting into it a little bit. Why do you deem that as bullying? Well, you can clearly see he's uncomfortable. I said, no, he's embarrassed. Yeah. yeah. This is banter. If yeah. you don't teach your children how to be tough, yeah. when he goes to a nightclub and someone takes the piss out of him, what's he going to do? Lose his head? Yeah. Cry? Get beaten up? Yeah. Get into a tear up? If he can't take a little bit of banter, where's he going to be as a fella? It's no different as an apprentice. Same. Mm. And this is the thing. But we've had phone calls. My son thinks you're bullying him. Why is your son? 
Oh, because you told him to go to the van and made him wait there for a long time. <laughs> you know, long oh, wait. Yeah. And it's like, wow, this is the world we're in and this stuff like that. Yeah. And the way I talk to my wife, been together for 20 odd years, brother. Mm. We've grown up together. We know mm. each other. Mm. So when I said to her, got pulled on another one, I went, oh, go and grab the bank card out the motor, will ya? Just like that. So I've gone to this pizza rebellion, mm. the, the pizza, pizza place. place, 20 million views this video got. Mm. First pizza vending machine I've ever seen. Mm. So I pulled up to it, pulled up in the truck, Oh, God, babe. I say, I'll go to the truck and get my bank card, will ya? And I'm carrying on filming with my daughter. Oh, the way you spoke <laughs> so to your wife. Rude. So rude. How disrespectful was that? Yeah. And I was like, wow, what do you want from me? This is the problem. This is the world we live in. So you've gone to meet your bird with the new van. Could going back to the original van story. Yeah. Because I want to know the final, like, I want to. What was the outcome? What, what happened there? Because we never got to that. What? Your your story you were telling us about story. meeting your bird with a new van. Oh, saying, sorry. Because we didn't yeah. we figured out it was yeah. a lady now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather it's than a bird. fella. It's a bird. Yeah, bird. It was right. a bird. Yeah, bird. So, so we're on the bird story. Pulled out in a white shiny van, did I? She's like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Carried on seeing her for like a few months, you know. All going Obviously well. ended the relationship with the company I had the van with. Ooh. Next time I pull up in she the old Nigerian flag van. <laughs> She's left you because of a van. No, she didn't. No, 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 no. She, no. She's still, she's still on the firm. She's still there. Without saying that, she oh still cleans the underpants. <laughs> she's still employed. What she is like, it's like, yeah, we've uh, come down to peg or two now. <laughs> this is embarrassed real, now. This is reality. <laughs> this is the real peak. <laughs> Not the social media influencers. Is she mate. living in the van we are? <laughs> yeah. We got a sofa in there. <laughs> My man got a wicked custom kitted up. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's got, got a Vivaro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He sleeps draw. in the back of my van. <laughs> yeah. Ten eight on a quid a month. Yeah. <laughs> Parking in London. <laughs> yeah, twelve pound fifty, isn't it? Uh, Yo, you oh, don't. <coughs> don't no, it, no, we're not going there this week. No, you need to move no. out the area, son. Yeah, you need to move down where you we are. You ain't got no charges, that, it? mate. No, twelve pound fifty. Don't, don't, don't like it, do deal. you? I can't deal with it. I, I think it's rank liberties and order. I just think we could talk about this every nah, week. Let's and, move on. And people just get the ump with it, don't they? Yeah. It's just, yeah, because it just winds me up. Yeah. I'm not surprised. You look stressed losing there, mate. Yeah. yeah. You'd know. You'd know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> book, that's what we're at. I can see. I can see it in people. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. Yeah. That's why he's so Because I've, I've been through it, he Look said. how calm through. and placid he is. That's why he's got a full head of hair. He's not one bit of stress. Years left in that hair. Too late. I'm going well grey, though. <laughs> Yeah, you look on the right. side. It's so You're like Jimmy Bullock. <coughs> yeah. Oh, he's going to say Jimmy Savile for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Cross for that. <laughs> Could have gone the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even bouncing on the back of that yeah, one, yeah, yeah, That's, that's yeah. a cut at any point. <laughs> yeah. Are you always this placid, though, and chilled? Mm. Are you? Yeah, that's a great way. Yeah. He's, 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 uh, he's like, yeah. You make good decisions like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think about I'm everything. I'm always thinking. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. he, he makes rash decisions. No shit. He mentions something, he'd be like, oh, I'll message him. Yeah, do you want to do a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> how, long do you, how long do you ponder a decision? So like a personal decision, how long will you ponder it versus a business decision? I bet it takes you months to make a business choice. I'll write down everything that comes to my head. I think yeah. that's a good idea. I'll write it down and I'll look at it the next day and think, is it a good idea or not? Mm -hmm. If not, I'll just take it off the list. Mm. Yeah, so don't take that. No, I'm quite a risk taker. Okay. Um, but you'll think about it first. <laughs> yeah, I'll think about it, but not It's like Louis long. from Fix Radio, isn't he? Yeah. You're very much like our boss at Fix, your own yeah. Fix. It's very much exactly like you mm. from that point of view. Just yeah, so it. I won't think about it for too long. If I don't think it's a, if I think it's going to work, I'll just do it. Like we're doing this, I'll just... Have a go. I only spoke to him in October about it. Mm. Robbie only started in November. Just made it happen. Yeah, just yeah, got it He's done. a go-getter, man. Yeah. Go-getter. Yeah, one of the last go-getters, yeah. But it take, takes a risk doing it. 100%. You know what I mean? It's not... The everything's money a risk, though, isn't it? Just, yeah, you know, everything's a risk. Easy, yeah. But I got told, told this when I was earlier on. When All the time there's money there, everything's easy. Mm -hmm. When the money disappears and there ain't no money in the pot and you've got to find it to make something happen, that's when you've got to start questioning yeah. it a little bit more, in it? But mm. you just got to trust the process, isn't you? Just 100%. have a go. I think you have yeah. got to have a go. Like, 
we we bought our calf and we put a lot of money in that calf and done well in lockdown. It done super well. We're talking about it on the way here. Mm. And we might re, re re look at it. Been shut for six months. Yeah, it's mm. costing us money, mm. dead money, because it just changed. As soon as we went the radio and we started doing the full time radio mornings, our attention come away from it. Mm. And you take the heart out of a business, and all of a sudden, what's what's there left to beat? You know. Yeah. So that happened, but. A big risk that was, and and in the depth of it, we had two good years, not enough to repay what we. So mm. we're at a big loss at the moment. Part of it, but you yeah. win here, you lose here, you win here, yeah. you lose here, you roll over, you go again. You know, you Part can do ten gym, things, yeah. one works, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. that's what they say. Mm. It's like content. Yeah, yeah it's the same, content's yeah. the same. You just got to put the content out, and the same video will do ten times better on a different day posted. Yeah, yeah. But people look at things, I didn't know. They think, oh, they must be doing well. Mm-hmm. But that's beside oh, the story. Yeah. yeah, I've had that. People oh, yeah. thinking things, thinking, <laughs> thinking. They well, they the see, band. they'll <laughs> see like a comedy video or something. Do you know what I mean? Or people don't know me. They think I'm fucking rich. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I'm like, mm. you could not be any further. Yeah, we get truth. it. We get it. And they think, yeah. oh, because we shot a calf t- uh, tax scam. Yeah, tax. Yeah, oh, tax that was tax scam. avoidance. Yeah, I've yeah. never paid more tax and national insurance and, and that in my life. Mm. We are over and beyond mm. with what we pay. Sorry. Because I've gone that way. Last 10 years, I've gone the way of, listen, I'm going to look after everything this time. Mm. So I'm going to make sure I'm above. The yeah, world. yeah. Because the other side, I was on the wrong side of it. This side, mm. I'm on the right side of it. People couldn't be far from the truth. They think we're sitting on millions of pounds yeah. and you've got all this money and you're driving yeah. flash cars. Yeah. It's life, isn't it? Mm. It's what people think. Let yeah. them think what they think, eh? So, yeah. yeah. Adam, should we wrap it up then? Yeah, that's right. It's been a good one, hasn't it? Yeah, it's good. I'm happy with it if you boys are. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with it, mate. Yeah. Um, you can... Um, Take yeah, thank you for uh, coming on. It's been nice to hear your story. You're Sometimes it's for us. not always good to know about the people, is it? Oh, I think what of, coming into this. Yeah, I didn't know loads about you. So it's nice to hear your story and yeah, stuff yeah. Like that. If 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 they've got something about them, because yeah. you could you could end up doing a podcast with someone who ain't got no life experiences. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's the the blessing of having the life experiences. You've got a story mm, to tell. Yeah. I think this is good. Yeah, because like I I didn't know. Half of that. Half of that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I've been following you for a while. Do you know what I mean? Like since the, the chicken stuff. We've I've held said, back I've known you a long while. Mm. Yeah. We've had a second podcast we've ever done. You. One mm. we got paid for, this one we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, I'm skint. Yeah, that was we I've got, did I've one... got nothing. Have you seen me van? <laughs> True story. <laughs> we did one podcast from that West. Yeah, yeah. And we got weighed in for it. And this is the second only podcast we've ever done. Yeah. I'm. Honoured. Honestly, yeah. because we've held back and Listen, we don't do it. We don't I'll, bother. I appreciate that. Then. We, uh, yeah, I'll take my hat off to like everything you've done. Can appreciate you, it. Can we get free yeah. tickets to your next comedy thing? Oh, I don't really. Oh, it's, it's probably not tickets. Free, yeah, it's free, isn't it? It's walking free, free yeah. isn't it? Buy yeah, a pound yeah, yeah. on the door, isn't it? Free yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then you get free yeah. beer yeah. I'll get you tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> They're well expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you boys need to come to the boxing event. So yeah, get some tickets yeah, out. Yeah, we can yeah. use some free tickets. Yeah, come to the boxing event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know and I'll speak to my mate as well. Yeah. Yeah. Come down and speak yeah. to your man and we're, uh, we've got some ringside tables. Yeah. So we've got some benches and then we've got ringside. Come down, yeah, yeah, sit with us while it'd be great. Yeah, we'll have yeah. that. We're we'll getting yeah. up doing the sketch. Can we bring our birds? Yeah, bring your birds. <laughs> can we save the parking space for that old van? <laughs> <laughs> Special space reserve, yeah. right reserve for peace. The shittiest van there, it'll probably get clamped. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Lovely. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank appreciate you. you. Yeah, boys, cheers, boys, I really appreciate that. Thank, no, you. Good, yeah. thank you, everyone, for listening. It's been great. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, mate.